Welcome to the future home of the African American Museum of Bucks County. My name is Linda Sally and I am the president. And I want to take this time to thank the commissioners for allowing us to have this beautiful land and home. And we will eventually become a stand-up museum and we will have people come and share the rich history of African Americans in Bucks County and beyond. I first was interested in our doing something that had to do with black history when I learned about all the underground railroad stops within Bucks County. I thought that was so critical and we ought to do something as a county with that to try to help people to understand what happened. Um, so I've always had that in the back of my mind and then I heard there was this African American Museum that had started and I was so interested because I thought well they'll take care of this, 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 will, this will all work out. And then I understood that it was a traveling museum. I met Linda, I was excited about it. But the real key was when we were at an event up in Quakertown. Now, that let me know they had become a county institution. This was not just something down in the lower end where I live, this had gone all the way to Quakertown. So the time was ripe to really, you know, be a, be a big advocate. And Linda at the time mentioned that they really needed to have some kind of a place. So how perfect this would be to be able to match the African American Museum with this beautiful building that needed to be redone. I had no idea until Linda told me about it that there was actually a history of people who had come from the South that farmed that land. I guess they had lived in Bristol. So that has made this project even better because it, the whole thing matches together. Linda knew the stories for it, so I was thrilled to be a part of it. This is an amazing building. When we went in there the first time, it's, it's great. So it's, a, it's a really a treasure historically to be able to preserve. So this is just the way things should work out and I feel like all the pieces fell into place because they were supposed to. So it's really important for people to give to this museum. Whether you donate your time, your talents, whether you make a donation, which we really do need, this is an important project. It's important to Bucks County. It's important to the people of Bucks County. Hi, I'm Bernard Griggs, Project and Diversity Officer of Bucks County. And as Project and Diversity Officer, I oversee capital projects in cooperation with the General Services Department to oversee projects through from the beginning to the end. On the diversity and inclusion end of things, I'm overseeing the development and implementation of a countywide diversity and inclusion program to train staff on cultural, racial and gender awareness and to recruit a more diverse workforce countywide. The African American Museum of Bucks County is one of my projects. It's a complete restoration and core and shell construction 
of the old 4,000 square foot Boone Farm building at Cor Creek Park in Langhorne. It will be complete with site improvements, stormwater management, new parking lot, concrete sidewalks, landscaping, etc. I will be working with the professional consultants and all the construction companies involved. To, and I have to tell you, this is a very exciting project to be heading up. And it's a pleasure to work with Linda Sally and her team from the African American Museum. The tenant build out portion of the project, along with the future maintenance of the building, being the responsibility of the museum folks, it's a huge undertaking. So your donations would be greatly appreciated. On the morning of Wednesday, November 23rd, all the new friends of the African American Museum of Bucks County came to Boone Farm for a special celebration. I am so excited because to tell the history of Bucks County, you have to tell the entire story, and the black story is a part of it. So this is just a huge part of the story of Bucks County, and today is kind of the official first day. So I'm really excited about the museum getting started because I think it recognizes um, a community that has been here a long time without recognition, and it's time for us to um, build bridges. It's so good to see all of you. You have really supported the museum, and we are excited about this day. It, all of this could not have happened if it had not been for each and every one of you. We have been in existence since 2014. It's been a long journey, and this journey is not over. Just remember, this is just a new phase in the journey. There were also speeches from representatives from the county, state, and federal government. And one had an early Christmas gift for Linda and the museum. I'm going to provide you an early Christmas present. Now, I don't have a cardboard check, but the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania will be providing a quarter of a million dollars on behalf of... There were tears of joy, laughter, and pride as supporters and board members took a shovel and dug into the earth and broke ground on what will become the home of the African American Museum of Bucks County.